Tankard Palmieri was sitting in the green dolphin, thinking about how best to dispose of a black diamond he'd stolen from a house on the bridle path. He was 25 years old and he'd been a thief from the age of 11, but this was the first time he'd had difficulty deciding what to do with a stone. It was as if the diamond had a personality. Tankard was a tall and physically imposing black man, but he was also approachable. He could not sit anywhere for long without someone starting a conversation. This was, his friends liked to say, because his blue eyes were startling and his voice deep and avuncular. So, when he wanted to be alone without necessarily being alone, Tancred answered in French, his maternal tongue, when spoken to by strangers. Few who came into the dolphin knew the language, but Willa Wazarian did and she took the fact that Tancred spoke it as a portent. They would be friends. She knew it, and touching his arm, she blithely began to tell him about her family. Tancred interrupted her. In French, he said, you know, I'm not really one for family stories. In French, Willow answered, what have you got against them? I just don't like them, said Tancred. Willow nodded in sympathy and patted his leg. Then she carried on from where she'd left off, speaking about her family as if its story was something Tancred had to know. Willow was in her fifties, more than twice his age. As he was chivalrous by nature, he listened to her, skeptical but polite. To be fair, there were a number of things that made Willow's story implausible. To begin with, she was a junkie. Tancred himself had seen her, either high or strung out, stumbling around Parkdale like an outpatient from Queen Street Mental. Then there was what she told him. Though they were meeting for the first time, Willow expatiated on her family's wealth. The Azarians, about whom Tancred had heard, owned property all over the world. Her father had been brilliant, generous, wonderful. He had always treated her, his youngest, as if she were a princess. She had millions thanks to him, a fortune, enough to last a hundred years. Of course, he didn't leave as much as he could have, she said. <laughs> 